Hi, it's Mr. Weissman. I'm back with another experiment. Uh, today we're going to be uh, making a homemade fire extinguisher. Here you see I have a saucer with a birthday candle. I did cut about a half an inch off that birthday candle to make it a little bit lower to the ground. And we're going to make a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. Uh, you may not do this experiment unless you have a parent with you to help with the lighting of the candles. So, you're going to need a cup, some white vinegar, and some baking soda. And so for this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to be working with the gas called carbon dioxide. We're going to be adding a small amount about a quarter of an inch or so on the bottom of the cup of baking soda. Maybe that's more like a half an inch. And then we're going to be pouring some vinegar into it. And immediately what we have from a liquid and solid will react and change to a new substance called carbon dioxide, which is a gas and it's heavier than air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the vinegar into the cup and we will begin to see it bubbling in the cup. And then I'm kind of going to just hold it like this. And because it's heavier than air, it's going to come down oh, and it's going to sink in the air. You won't see it sink because it's invisible, but it's going to come down and it will put the flame out. So that'll be kind of a unique chemical demonstration. So let's, hopefully it'll, it will work. I'm wearing goggles for this. Safety is above number one concern here. So uh, if you have goggles, I would put them on for this experiment. So here we go. We're gonna now add the vinegar. And we're getting a lot of bubbling and here we go. Try again. Oh, wait, it did go out. <laughs> I did not think that was going out. So, yeah, we had uh, our bubbling that went on here. You can see it rising up in the cup, and that heavier than air gas comes out and then down onto the flame. Okay, so it might take a couple tries to get it right, but. Uh, that experiment is just one of my favorites. If you have a, a larger container that you can pour, uh, pour it into, you can make put the baking soda at the bottom and have three candles of different sizes and when that are all lit and when you pour them in as the as the carbon dioxide gas goes up, they'll go out one, two, three. I'm kind of using what I have at home during our COVID-19 experiments week. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.